I'm Mike. And I'm Shane. And our project is about Werner Heisenberg. Werner Heisenberg was born on December 5th, 1901 in Würzburg, Germany, and he died on February 1st, 1976 in cancer. He attended the University of Munich in Germany to study physics. He created the first version of quantum mechanics in 1925 called Matrix Mechanics. After accomplishing that, he then went on to study at the Institution of Theoretical Physics in Copenhagen with Niels Bohr. This is where they worked together to create Bohr's atomic model, one of the most famous topics in scientific history. Not only did he help Bohr create his atomic model, he also helped hypothesize the uncertainty principle. The uncertainty principle, in a nutshell, means that you cannot precisely define a particle's position and momentum at the same time. Quantum mechanics is weird, right? But did you know that some of its supposed peculiarities are not unique to quantum physics, but are just properties of waves in general? Take the uncertainty principle. It says that the better we know where a particle is, the less we know about how fast it's going. There's a limit to how much we can know. But this isn't just quantum weirdness, it happens all the time with normal everyday waves. Remember that the frequency of a wave is how close the wave crests are to each other. A low frequency wave doesn't have nearly as much oomph as a high frequency one. And the position of a wave is, well, where the wave is, mostly. So where exactly is a wave? It's spread out everywhere, right? Okay, but for a wave pulse, it's pretty easy to see where the wave is. So now that we know where the pulse is, what's its frequency? Well, a localized pulse doesn't really wave, so we can't measure the frequency of its crests. And that's the uncertainty principle in a nutshell. You can either know where a wave is, or where it's going, but not both at the same time. Werner Heisenberg contributed to the atomic theory by including quantum mechanics and branch mechanics. He also used the quantum theory to interpret the behavior of elementary particles and atoms. He studied the behavior of electrons and other subatomic particles, such as protons and neutrons. He studied the patterns of electrons. This is how scientists of our day compare atoms. They use the movements of the electrons and how many electrons are in the molecule to determine the modern view of the atom. Werner Heisenberg hypothesized and proved the uncertainty principle, which states roughly that the more known the momentum of a particle is, then the less precisely the position can be known, and vice versa. This study then evolved into the birth of quantum mechanics, which explains how subatomic particles actually work and how they affect the universe. Without hesitation, repetition or deviation, can you please explain for us as succinctly as possible? I have a timer here. The rules of quantum mechanics. Your time starts now. Well, the most basic version I know of is, is Feynman's version, which uh, essentially says particles are particles and they hop from place to place with a particular probability. And the probability that a particle that's at some place will be at some different place later is given by a very simple rule. Um, it uses a quantity called the action which is to do with the mass of the particle and the time and the distance. Uh, and, and you, So you basically calculate these little uh, quantities, which are to do with something called the action, and you add them up. So if I, if I start with an electron in one corner of the room, and I say, what's the probability at some time later it'll be somewhere else? Then at every point in the room, you can assign a probability that it will be there at a later point with one simple rule, and that's it. Now, this is called the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics. That underlies everything else. You can, you can get the rest from that. So it's a simple rule. It says, what's the probability a particle will move from A to B? That's it.